Good morning, my name is Ann Schnabel, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Next app using Next.js, Hardhat, we're also going to install Tailwind CSS so you have some styling and Ethers JS so that you can hook into your Solidity contracts. We're also going to do this all in under five minutes, so let's get started. We're going to start at the Next.js website. We're going to go to the documentation portion, scroll down, and we're going to find the TypeScript Yarn Create Next app and copy that and paste it into our terminal. It's going to ask us what we want to name the project. I'm going to say DAP. We do want ESLint, we do want a source directory, we do not want the experimental app directory. What important alias would you like configured? I don't really want any configured, so I'm going to put source as the alias. Um, if it gives you a yes or no option, go ahead and click no. We don't need that. Now that it is installed, I'm going to open VS Code, and it is going to go show us that we can open DAP. Let us next uh, go to hard hat documentation. We're going to scroll down. Looks like we need to add hard hat. And we are going to go to VS Code to do this. We're done with our hyper terminal. We're going to go into VS Code terminal, new terminal, and paste this in there back to the website, we're going to go down to NPX hardhat, and this is going to initialize different um, config files and such. It's going to yell at us here, and that's okay, we're going to let it yell at us. We do want to okay, ignore it. Okay, why is it yelling at us? We don't want a readme, and we don't want a TS config because it's going to add the TS config. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and name this copy and we're going to get rid of our readme, move to trash. Yes, I'm gonna hit the up arrow to write that again and hit return. And now we are going to scroll down to create a TypeScript project. That is our root. We do wanna get ignore and there we have it. We have installed hardhat. We have initialized a hardhat config file. Next, we're going to go to Tailwind CSS, get started, scroll down, just kidding, scroll back up. We're going to go to Framework Guides, Next.js. They have this nice little um, set just for us. We have already created our Next app, and we're already inside the project, so we can skip these first two. It says npm install, and then it gives us all the packages we need to install. Since we're using Yarn, we're going to say Yarn add dev. Next, we're going to run npx tailwind init p. We're going to run that, and it added a tailwind config and a post CSS config. Those are both important in using tailwind. You can see that it made an empty config file for tailwind. It has some outlines, but nothing in it. So we're going to go scroll down to see what we need to place in it. And we are going to say copy this line paste it in there, comma, make a new line, and we are also going to copy this line because we have a components folder in our root and a source folder in our root, and we want everything inside of them to listen to Tailwind class names. We then scroll down to directives, Tailwind base components utilities, we're going to go into our global styles get rid of everything in there and just paste those. And lastly, we are going to add ethers, which is going to help us hook into our Solidity contracts and bring them into our front end UI. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to say yarn add ethers. And that's going to install. And now we've done it. This is everything you need to build a full stack DAP. Just kidding. We've got one more step. Go back to your hardhat config and copy the name of this package. Um, it is also going to need to be installed. As you can see, it is not in our dependencies. So we're going to yarn add dev paste. Boom. Now we're done. Thanks for joining me. That was how to build a full stack dap setup in under five minutes. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned a lot. I know I did. Have a great day.